Hey YouTube, today I will be showing you how to make login system part to create new account and rank system. We're going to start by editing the login by going to this and moving that a little over to the side, making space for a not a radio button a checkbox. Just drag it down there, make its text. Admin. You can add a question mark if you want. That's up to you. Just put that in there, and uh, uh, doesn't matter what you name it. For create account, don't change it. But um, go to your database. It should be yeah, right. Well, actually, no, your database data set. You no, know, let's add the ranks first. The ranks will be best. You know what, forget the ranks. The ranks are not a good idea. We'd have to create a form to actually show the ranks, so um I might make a tutorial on that later, but for now let's just not. So you don't really need to uh you just need to go to Solution Explorer and use this data set. Uh click add query. Um SQL statement. I know you're using an update but or insert actually. Really, it's select which turns a single value. We gotta check the username first, make sure it's not already taken. That uh, might take a while for me, but maybe hopefully not for you. Cherry Builder. I don't know you already did, but anyways, just do select only username this time. Username. Uh oh. I might. Okay, so you didn't hear me. My my mic was jammed. Okay, where username like? Now let's check. It. Execute query. Add. There it is. Click OK. Next. Name it, uh, check, username, finish. Add query, again. Use SQL statement. Now you're going to do insert. Um, this is all you really need to do. Just open tray builder and click OK. And it should pop up like this. Should be good. And, uh, create. There you have two new queries. I'm gonna make a tutorial about learning that. And uh, just take away the admin thing. We're not gonna do that on this tutorial. I'm gonna make a th part three about it, but not this tutorial. Not this time. Now, with create new account, you're going to need to double click create account. You may have to build it, but for ultimate, I think it automatically builds once you can build it once. But yeah, it should work. Um, still, if not, users ta table. Oh, got the yes. Users table adapter. Dot check username. Uh, what's it called? Means it's not null. Then it does this. Now this is where we use the create account. Create account. Simple as that. And now that should do it. Let's just go debug it. Sorry if I'm breathing on the mic. I've been holding my breath for 40 seconds now. Just make sure the login's still working. Logged in. Let's create a new account. Let's try admin and password. We can change this one. See, it doesn't get. Uh, wait. 
We forgot to add the notification. Sorry, guys. Okay, now let's try that again. Should work. Create new account. Admin and password. Create account. Account. Ooh, that's not right. Oh, I think I see what it is now. It's, uh, if not. You know, let me check this for a second. It means it's. Oh, yeah, you gotta take out the knot. I'm sorry, guys. Um. Oh, not good, not good, not good. If not, yeah, I'm bad at this sort of thing. This happens to me. Especially when I was programming my web browser. Check. Username. Okay. Take away the knot. Nothing. That's the equivalent to null. It's not a zero. It's just nothing. It's a really good thing that they added in the scripts. Here, watch. Hi. And password. It's going to say account created. Now if you could create account again, username is taken. Sh everything should be in order now. Um, now watch me do hi and password logged in. See? It's all good. Now uh, have fun and I may make a part three on adding ranks. I'm not sure, but you can if you want. I, matter of fact, I will make a so, uh, part three. See you then, and bye.